Florian Roack, transcriptions, which means you are in the music you are writing as well. Yes, it's a way to um, to interpret really literally the piece because you, I mean, you have an original piece which is mostly for orchestra comp uh, composed, and then you the question is Russian composers. Yes, I, I just chose it because I felt it was fitting for a transcription, uh, much more than a Brahms symphony, let's say, which I, I think would be not so much working uh, on piano. So um, I went for Russian uh, romantic music, so to say, where I felt there was possibility to to make it really colorful on, on the piano, and. Um, Yes, so of course, the transcription is already a sort of small interpretation in the writing because it's how you react to the orchestral piece. Now, now, now we imagine we are in your living room. Okay. There is this big piano. Okay. Okay. It is night, mm -hmm. and then you have this piece, and no, this is a great orchestra score. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Um, I think it comes a bit from first from um, uh, from hearing, so to say, so that I. I don't especially always look at the orchestral score. I mean, of course, when I start exactly to write, yes, but first I start a bit improvising on that, starting to find uh, intuitively a way that might sound well. And of course, when I have that first approach, then I start to write down everything which, where I need the orchestral okay, score. We, we do that, we do that. We do that with a piece everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Bolero, for example. Okay. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. So, what is in your mind now? Well, of course, that Bolero is probably a very bad piece to arrange for piano. Why? <laughs> because uh, the question for me is how much space you have to add things. In the sense that, um, of course, to, to suggest an orchestra for piano, you need a lot of colors. And um, to create that color, basically, you, you need to play with the possibilities of the instrument. But you need to do that in a way that you're not cheating the piece. Let's say if I start to add a lot of notes in bolero to give a bit of colors. So where, where would you start at the beginning? Da, 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 yam, da, da, da. What yep. would you do? This, for example, is exactly a piece I would not choose because <laughs> you can you cannot if you add something there, it sounds very bad. I mean, I think it will sound bad because you you have very little space of freedom. So you can't do anything with perfect pieces. Well, you can try, but I think the result might be less successful according to the piece. So you just choose pieces for your CD which were not perfect. <laughs> no, for my CD, I choose pieces which I thought could could work on the piano. <laughs> um, let's say. For example, if you take Sherazade by Rimsky Korsakov, there are harps, there are triangles, there are everything. And let's say you have um, a lot of space for putting arpeggios, scales, and all of this. If you do that in Bolero, it's very strange because Bolero is very um, pure in a way. I don't let you out with it. Sorry. Next year, you get the Echo Classic, and I want to hear the Bolero from you, okay? okay. Thank <laughs> you very much, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I, I hope Bye. I could make it clear. Also. I hate the Bolero. <laughs> <laughs>